श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम हाउ टू लिव अवर लाइफ and how to live the life both science is that which deals exhaustively from all angles see so life also we have to deal from all possible angles if we take only one angle our knowledge will be biased for example now this camera is in front of me if it is at a lower level and from there if it is focus i will be seen a tall giant if the same camera is at a higher level from there if it is focus i will be seen like a pygmy the right understanding will be when the camera is at my eye level in the same manner from what angle we are looking at the world that gives us the knowledge about the world and therefore this exhaustive treatment of looking at the world and thereby understanding life is presented in our bhagavad gita you are all the students of gita i know it is a challenge for me to keep you engaged in bhagavad gita because if i say one verse you will see immediately start because everything is by hearted see so let us understand life in the second chapter bhagwan says dehi nosmin yatha dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara prapti hi dhiras tatra na muyati we go through different stages in life as a child now that small little baby sitting in the mother's lap they the other size so we go through different stages childhood teenage middle age old age and also beyond now for everybody the same thing cannot be talked see and this is where many of us go wrong in dealing with our life like there are many people you must have seen they are over enthusiastic about teaching the children meditation and yoga see in one place i have please come and sit down vango vango <clears throat> so in that place when i went this is samidi we are teaching the children meditation and doing the japa the children were small like you know um, sudeep's children now they cannot stand on one spot for more than 0.000 second that is their age now to them we are going to teach them chanting the lord's name and meditation so 
they have to show it so they just now see in our the class children we teach them meditation and yoga sit properly sit close your eyes now we are doing meditation okay everybody close eyes close half eyes not full and now the poor kids suffering silently and then looking here and there who is doing what who is doing what these are the cartoons of spiritual life and then one child asked this question tamil ji we are told to keep the eyes half open and we try we cannot try to keep your eyes open half and that to kids so what to do i said you should understand how many eyes you have got two eyes what is the half of two one so keep the one eye open one eye close and when i said like kids were so happy okay now we can do meditation <laughs> see therefore for different age groups we have to deal with differently so first of all we when we are growing up to the age of 6 or 7 low cuddle and do all kinds of hugging kissing everything after that this time this is the period when the bond between the parents and the children becomes firm then from 7 up to the age of 13 they should be disciplined no compromise on discipline strictness i am talking under indian conditions not under 911 condition here yours is a 911 isn't it anything you do 911 so discipline after the kids have crossed 13 they have entered the teenage 13 to 19 they should be inspired with ambition achievement success dynamism and after they have crossed the teenage that is 19 there after they are your friends but what happens you know under indian conditions when a child is born not only a child is born but a mother is born father is born dada dadi nana nani uncle auntie the whole society is born and in that huge birth event only the child grows the parents never grow in age see this i learned in bangalore i went to somebody's house a punjabi house it was my mistake so i went and talked to the old lady so i i said mama how are you tell me this is good you have come now tell my son he doesn't listen to me i said okay call him so he was called raju idhar aa jao raju ke he doesn't take care of his food properly he uh, sleeps very late you tell him what was the age of raju he was a retired brigadier <laughs> and this old lady was 98 not out now tell me we have to clearly understand play your role don't go beyond it see we all have a responsibility towards the parents towards the society and also towards ourselves see human life is the ultimate evolution that prakriti or nature can give ultimate plants and trees they eat from below and they grow vertically upward animals eat from the front and they grow backwards human beings eat from above and grow downwards and sidewards see now what is the next possibility 
eat from backside and grow forward. So as regard evolution is concerned, at body level, we have achieved perfection. See, we can't improve upon it. At it. But hereafter, if there is evolution, it can be only spiritual evolution. See, friends. And therefore, we have to have a complete picture of life. So, when we are the student age, Brahmacharya, that time, we must become capable of leading a meaningful, creative life as a grasta. For that, we have to have the ability to produce wealth. See, those who do not produce wealth in life, they are burden on the society. See, one of the students asked me many years before, he said, Swamiji, kindly give me some advice, personal advice. I said, we have studied Upanishad, Gita, what more do you want? He said, no, something special for me. Then I told him, you have no right to take food if you do not serve the society. If you do not produce the wealth, you have no right to take food. He said, then what should I do? I said, what you have learned? In last three, four years, you have learned all the scriptures. Now, what are they for? They are for giving this knowledge to the sincere seekers of truth, free. Not charging money. See, satsanga where money is the criteria is dusanga, not satsanga. No money factor. See? So, Whatever you have studied, whatever you have understood, digested, work on it and then give it to those sincere seekers of truth. That day when you are not conducting satsanga or you are not studying the scriptures, that day you have no right to take food. See, life becomes lazy, unproductive. We should never retire in life. Produce wealth till the last moment. Retirement is contrary to our scriptures. Bhagavan says, Mati Sangha Astu Akarmani. Do not justify that you are retired. No. Produce wealth. Work hard. See? So, the first part of our life, Brahmacharya, become capable. That time, no indulgence in the un unwanted thing in this world. Work hard, study, get your education or whatever skills. It is not necessary that everybody has to become engineer or doctor. Somebody has to become patient also. So, everybody become doctor, then who will be the patient? Therefore, it is not only taking the degrees in school and college. We must have skills. And with that skill, you can produce a lot of wealth. This is the first part of our life. And this is where our Bhagavad Gita tells that Karmande vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahe durbhuhu ma te sangasto akarmani. Four things. See, this verse is oft quoted. But what exactly is the meaning that we have to understand? See, When we do something in life, it leaves an impression on our mind. See? If you do some harm to somebody, there will be a dent and a dash on our mind, which will keep us bothering in the later stage of life. In the old days, now many of you may not be old, but it will come to you, don't worry. In old days, there are two things which bother a person, maximum. Two things. This comes in Upanishad. One thing is, Oh God, when I was young, 
Why did I do the wrong things? Guilt is the biggest burden that the human mind carries. And second, fear. I don't know what is going to happen to me in the future. Many old people ask this question. Swamiji, uh, what happens after death? So I tell them, I'm sorry, I don't have no experience. How can I tell you what happens after death? No, 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 please tell. You know the scriptures, they must have told something. What happens after death? I said, when you are alive, has anything happened? When we are alive, nothing has happened. What can happen is after death, maybe people around will be happy. Thank God, useless fellow has gone. <laughs> See, think of living, not living. See, add life to every day that you live. Don't add days to the life. This is the karma yoga. See, in Ishavasya Upanishad, a mantra comes, second mantra. Kurvanne veha karmani jiji visheshatakam sama evam tai na anyathasti na karma lipyate nare Live your life, kurvanne veha karmani, be dynamic throughout life, no retirement. And jiji visheshatakam sama, desire to live 100 years. This is not the meaning. The meaning is live 100% every moment. Our condition is ekadil ke tukde hajar huye. Never we live in the present. See the happy mantra mala that you have heard. There is one mantra in that. Wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, be hundred percent. I have been talking to you for last eighteen minutes. One eight. How many minutes you have heard me? Huh? Even this is not heard. We are unable to remain wherever we are, wherever we are, whatever we are, 100%. The mind is constantly like, you know, the mercury. One student went to school and he saw in the lab chemistry laboratory, Various things and in one bottle it was written mercury. So he was curious and therefore he took that bottle thinking it is light but mercury is very heavy metal. So he held it, it slipped from his hand, it fell, broke. So when the mercury sp uh, spread on the floor, he wanted to collect it. So with his fingers he tried to get it, nothing comes in the hand. That is the condition of our mind. The more you try, the more we become miserable. See? And to correct ourselves for this, this is the Maha Mantra. Give it a try. Whatever you, I am not telling you, do meditation. No. I am, on the contrary, opposite. Undoing is spiritual life. Unbecoming is spiritual life. Undoing meditation is meditation. Meditation is not an action. Dosha banao. Meditation karo. No. Don't waste your time in doing meditation. All abnormalities will come up in you. See. Anything that begins, ends. See. Therefore, this is one technique. And this technique is so scientific. First of all, now see, answer the questions in your mind. Do we have a choice to live yesterday? No. Do we have a choice to live tomorrow? No. Do we have an option to live today or tomorrow? No. We have to live now and here. No choice. So to remain now and here is easier 
than to go in the past and go in the future. See, let us do easy things. Why do complicated things? Now see how complications are. Suppose I ask you, <clears throat> 223 days before, in the evening at 5 o'clock, what you did? The struggle, 223 days, and today this thing, you are lost in time. Suppose I ask you, uh, maybe after 169 days, where will you will be? Again, in short, mind survives only on the diet of past and future. You drop the past and the future, the mind gets dissolved in pure consciousness. This experience of yours is a trailer of divine experience. At this moment, you have no thought in your mind that you are a man or woman, young or old, in USA or somewhere else, rich or poor. No. Keeping this mode, then play the game of life. We are not telling you, same this is permutation, all that. No, 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 no. Be dynamic. And how it can be? This is the Mahamantra. Whatever we are doing, wherever we are, get 100% involved. In uh, Mumbai, many years before, one lady came to meet me. And uh, she came, her right hand was having some injury or whatever, and there was a bandage. And she was holding it like this thing. She came to meet me. So I mean, I want to talk to you. So I got up and did Namaskar. I said, Devi Mata Namaskar, because you are blessing me. <laughs> so I mean, you make a fun of me, but my hand is paining. What happened? You know, she told the story. I was cooking chapati or something. And I had a fight and argument with my husband. I said, this is not a story. This is the reality of life. What next? He said, he was talking, some, I was talking, I became so angry and I didn't realize that the tawa has become very hot and there is no roti on the tawa. Looking at him and I put my hand on that and the tawa got stuck. And my hand burned. Mamaji, what should I do? I said, do the same thing with the other hand. It will become matching. <laughs> now, what is the problem? Problem is, where the hand is, there the mind is not. Be very attentive. Mind is knowledge. Hand is action. When Knowledge and action do not support each other. A tragedy happens. See? Knowledge wise, we are all wise. See? Now, be very attentive. <coughs> if you draw two lines from a single point, those two lines cannot be parallel to each other. Like if you see my palm is a point. And from there I draw these two lines. The index finger and middle finger. So there has to be an angle. They cannot be parallel. And as the point goes away from the center. 
That means as I go draw this line straight away and this line straight away, the distance between the two will be increasing, widening, is it not? Now one is the principle of knowledge. Second is the principle of action. When our knowledge is not reflected in our actions, the net result is the distance between these two start increasing. Knowledge wise, none of us lack. All of us have got all the knowledge that is required to live happily. All of us have. See? Early to bed and early to rise is the way to be healthy, wealthy and wise. Everybody knows? What is the action? Late to bed and late to rise is the way to be unhealthy and otherwise. How simple it is. We all know laziness is bad. But we keep on lazying in life. See. It is so important for us to know we must learn to respect our knowledge in our action. Anger is bad, we all know. And yet, we are the victims of our own anger. See, on the basis of this principle, Arjuna asks a question in Bhagavad Gita to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Atha kena prayukto yam papam jaradi purushaha anichanna pi varshnaya baladiva niyojita. Oh Lord, kindly tell me why a person goes the wrong way, unwilling, as if somebody is compelling him to go the wrong way. What is that? Because of which Papam Charati Purushaha, we go the wrong way. What is that? There Bhagavan Krishna says, Kama Esha Krodha Esha Rajo Guna Samudbhavaha Maha Ashanaha Maha Papma Vidhenam Yavairidam it is desire alias anger. See? Because of which a person goes the wrong way. And what is the desire? Desires can never be fulfilled. You fulfill one desire, second is standing there in the queue. You fulfill the second desire, third is standing in the queue. You all go in your walk-in wardrobes. All those poor uh, saris are pathetically hanging. Every time we go to India, we buy something from there and keep on accumulating. Only two legs. How many pair of shoes? Thank God you have got only two legs. Had there been more legs, I don't know, there will be a shoe shop in the house or what. You know, end to that. See, friends, Maha Ashanaha, can never be satisfied. And if, be attentive, if the desires are not satisfied, unsatisfied desire expressed as anger. Desires have got two options. Either the desire is fulfilled or not fulfilled. When the desire is not fulfilled, anger is the next result. And when the desire is fulfilled, it becomes a greed. I want more, more. There is no end to it. Bhagavan says, Vidhi enam iha vairinam. These are our terrible enemy in our life. Therefore, when this knowledge is given to us and we are convinced of this, what should be done? Bhagavan says, If you want to recognize someone as an enemy, there is only one way to deal with the enemy. Kill the enemy. No forgiveness. Don't get into the wrong mode of ahimsa, ahimsa. It has no meaning. Enemy should be killed. See. With the enemy you have enough. Okay, we are ready. Desire and anger are our enemy. Therefore, we should kill them. No question comes. But where are they, desire and anger? We must know their hideouts. So we can go and kill them. Bhagavan says, Indriyani, Mano, Buddhi, Asya, Dhishthana, Muchate. 
the desire or anger operate from first hideout is indriyani the sense organs organs of action two of them ten of them totally we are all the victims of either our sense organs or our organs of action see but how to control them i'll give you a simple technique very simple technique there is one organ which is two in one the two in one is our tongue in english there is no corresponding word for the tongue when it is used for talking so now i am talking because of my tongue so the a uh, tongue is an organ of action because speaking is an action and when i am tasting something the taste is organ of perception so that is the gnanendriya now these two organs are located in one two in one now start working on this i tell you it will make a tremendous difference in life hey eh? the first is controlling over the tongue as a rasana the tasting organ see how much time energy only for test 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 i want this i want that i don't like this i don't like that see i keep on moving everywhere and uh, when i was going to china my friends ask me swami ji you are going to china what kind of food you eat there i said i am not going there for eating i am going there for satsang that they will not ask what kind of satsang you have with the chinese do you talk in chinese or how do you explain them in china it is not allowed to talk about god or religion how are you able to manage these are the possible question but instead of that what do you eat there pay to see so i told there we have nice cockroach achar it is so tasty <laughs> see and earthworm noodles and very good only eating is the only criteria of life see food is required No, but Bhagavad Gita tells sattvic food, rajasic food, tamasic food. Don't waste your time in that. Remember, remember first, we are human beings. We have only one stomach. Like the cows and buffaloes, we don't have four stomachs. But there are people who get lost only in this theme. See, and then that becomes our strong personality. the vegetarians have got a very uh, low feeling towards the non vegetarians swami ji i don't like the non vegetarians you know I'm very i don't know how they can kill and eat the animal you have no business on what others are eating you are eating my head is it less non vegetarian <laughs> let them eat as long as they don't cut your finger and eat it is okay <laughs> See? but then we want to prove we are vegetarian we don't eat non vegetarian then there is one new brand you know you are americans new brand i am vegan you have to tell in style you not say i am vegan the whole life goes only in discussing about food 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 see friends so what bhagavad gita tells about the food sattvic rajasic tamasic i'll summarize in simple words see before eating the food don't think about the food whatever comes finish it quickly don't go on lingering on the dining table till some bulldozer comes and throws you out don't spend more than 3 4 limit 5 minutes on the dining table finish quickly so before eating 
you are not talking about thinking about food while eating you know the, when i go to one place in gujarat bhimpura there is a ashram of uh, ananda mahima very beautiful place every year we have retreat there and there when we all sit together for food the person concerned now he has to say the jai kara so आनंदेश्वर महाराज की जय गंग नर्मदा मात की जय श्री राम जानकी मात की जय हनुमान दादा की जय लाइक दैट अल्टीमेटली ही सेज देन अदर से रिप्लाई आज का भोजन देन एवरीबडी हैज टू से बहुत अच्छा है बिफोर इटिंग एंड इफ ही ऑब्जर्व समबडी इज नॉट टेलिंग ही अगेन नॉट ही हैज नॉट सेड अगेन से आज का भोजन बहुत अच्छा है देन यू स्टार्ट इटिंग फूड नो कंप्लेन अभी तो कहा था इट वॉज गुड फ्रेंड्स डोंट गिव टू मच ऑफ चॉइस टू योर सेल्फ लेसर द चॉइस हैप्पीयर यू आर सी वट इज प्रॉस्पेरिटी प्रॉस्पेरिटी इज Giving too many choices is prosperity. <coughs> so, before eating, don't think about food. While eating, just finish it off. It is one of the duty. Don't get hanging on the food again and again. And don't remember, ha, ah, that day you prepared that sambar. Uh, please prepare it today. No, it was not sambar. It was the um, uh, sambar. Sol- the rasam solidified into sambar. don't get lost in that so before eating don't think about food while eating finish quickly don't allow any impression to be form on the mind and third after eating don't talk about food that's it more than what you eat how you eat is important see my friends we all take care of our body two things we do with our body one we work by the body second thing is we work on the body working by the body you are on working and earning your bread and butter working by the body working on the body we go in the morning for a run to reach nowhere we do the yoga to get nothing we are all the time worried about the food calorie 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 we give nice bath and uh, nice clothes all kinds of thing that is working on the body so two things we work by the body we work on the body why we work on the body if the body is healthy we can really enjoy life very good what we have done to work on the mind we are even not taught nobody including our own parents have ever taught us how to think are we taught nobody is taught how to think see my friends and all the problems are only because of thinking we have to learn the art of thinking see my friends this working on the mind is the purpose of bhagavad gita we have to work on the mind so working on the body and working by the body is very clear working by the body we earn working on the body we do exercise now how do we understand working by the mind and working on the mind so what is working by the mind working by the mind is default settings we have got comment on everything in this world see we have to advise everybody we have to tell something to somebody default settings see therefore our maha mantra is what dekho suno mat bolo many a times we talk when it is not required there is no need to talk 
कहना नहीं चाहिए हमारे पड़ोसी की बहू हमारे बहू से बहुत अच्छी है अरे महारानी वेर यू नो कहना नहीं चाहिए वह डोंट यू कीप यूर माउथ शट एंड देन थ्रू आउट लाइफ दैट वन स्टेटमेंट विल डिस्ट्रॉय यूर पीस सी फ्रेंड्स देर फोर वर्किंग बाय द माइंड इज डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग्स एंड देन वी रिग्रेट आफ्टरवर्ड्स Now, how to work on the mind? See, we can start working on the mind with understanding. First, we'll do one or two experiments to understand this point. Right now, it is not posthumous. Right now, for next one minute or two minutes, do not talk to yourself. stop now let us learn from this experiment what we told don't talk to yourself did i tell don't talk among yourself when you don't talk to yourself you don't want to talk to others also See? one morning a person went to other person's house अरे गुप्ता जी वॉट इज हैपनिंग कम ऑन यार दिस इज सो अर्ली मॉर्निंग सिक्स ओ क्लॉक भाई यू कम नो आई एम गेटिंग बोर्ड यार अलोन सो आई केम हु इज बोरिंग यू नो आई एम अलोन नो इमेजिन ए पर्सन हु गेट्स बोर्ड बिकॉज इज अलोन वॉट इज सॉलिड बोर ही मस्ट बी इज कंडीशन इज लाइक ए पर्सन गो टू द डॉक्टर एंड टेल्स डॉक्टर साहब आई स्नोर सो लाउडली बिकॉज ऑफ माई ओन स्नोरिंग my sleep gets disturbed what should i do the doctor said go and sleep in other room <laughs> see imagine we are bored of ourselves see friends because we have never worked on our mind and such people who keep on talking to themselves but others cannot hear this is my time pass when i move around the world on the airport you go i had to go because i move alone so sometimes you go and sit and just watch the whole duniya of tamasha is going on so what he is doing he is talking to himself see friends be attentive mind expresses as words nobody has taught you nobody will tell you this another experiment think whatever you like one condition don't use any words to think can you think without words so what we have to learn working on the mind is control your tongue
many times why all the time <coughs> we have to say something we have to talk and because of that a lot of damage happens and then that damage become irreparable see my friends therefore if the knowledge is represented in action and if the action is a reflection of our knowledge then be attentive then self confidence is at its peak what is the lack of self confidence we are doubtful about ourselves whether i will be able to do it or not why that doubt comes because we have not respected the knowledge in our own life in action a person without self confidence can achieve nothing in life <coughs> see my friends the atma vishwas and parmatma vishwas is one and the same atma parmatma are not two sweet and very sweet rasagulla is sweet <coughs> sugar is very sweet <coughs> in the same manner atma <coughs> with reference to individuality parmatma beyond all limitations <coughs> what we call god's grace in our life is in fact the self confidence See? don't bring that poor god every now and then work hard discipline it is for this purpose bhagavad gita tells us learn from your own experiences where it is said karmande vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana means what whenever i do anything i do it for what purpose for getting something a particular result see and what is the result that we all expect through every action only happiness is it not has anybody done anything to become miserable for example i think most of you are married now tell me who among you got married to become miserable and who among you got married to become happy so all of you got married to become happy further fill in the gap see friends so we get married to become happy and then we are frustrated and then we separate and that separation is also for getting happiness in short our life has got two expressions one is involvement second is withdrawal <clears throat> these two actions are aimed at getting happiness but we have not learned the basic whenever you are seeking happiness you have declared bankruptcy of your happiness instead of seeking happiness in the future period of time instead of postponing postponing your own happiness why don't you be happy and express happiness don't do anything to get happiness whatever you have to do it do it happily the whole approach of life will change and it is natural we cannot do anything yesterday we cannot do anything tomorrow whatever we have to do we have to do it today and now and today and now if we are expressing every action as happiness even god cannot make you miserable see friends this is the meaning of karmande vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana we have no choice we have to live now and today and here therefore we are given the maha mantra wherever you are wherever you are whatever you are be 100% now where are we 
वी आर इन सत्संग वेन आर वी लिविंग इन द सत्संग सो व्हाट शुड बी वी सत्संगी बट वेन आई गिव द एग्जांपल ऑफ हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ इमीडिएटली हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इट अरे डम्बो दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट यू इंडिविजुअली सी फ्रेंड्स we this we have to learn you will be 24/7 in meditation meditation is 100% availability under any given condition and then we go to the doctor doctor saab my mind is very disturbed and then doctor gets a victim See, there were two psychiatrists in England. It happened. Both of them retired. One of them became a patient. Other did not become a patient. So the one who became a patient, he asked the, his friend, "Come on, we were together. We worked together after the whole practice is over for last so many years. How come I have become a patient and you have not become a patient?" is it because you are listening to the patients sincerely therefore you became a patient i was not listening they were talking and i was having my cigarette <laughs> don't get involved in this world there is no need focus your attention on your life social service social work is not spiritual life we have to learn how to mind our mind atmai va atmano bandhu atmai va ripuratmana bhagwan says our mind is our friend our mind is our enemy if the mind is under our control then the mind is an asset if the mind is not under our control the mind is a liability and this we have to work on it nobody can do for us See friends, and therefore, it is said that empty head is a devil's workshop. Therefore, Bhagwan says, "Mate sangastu akarmani." Keep yourself occupied, busy, twenty-four seven. We should not have time even to die. If the death comes, we can scold. Why are you late? I have been waiting. That freedom. See friends, in old days the people suffer only because of this. They are अब रिटायर अब क्या करेंगे? Then uh, गोबर बनाओ, what else? Keep occupied, busy, dynamic, throughout life. Never retire in life. See the joy of life there. Then what to do? But I am not physically okay. You learn something, have some hobby, learn how to make the flowers. artificial natural develop a beautiful garden keep yourself occupied learn something learn chinese see learn something see this happened in del in mumbai i'll tell you this one of my friend very elderly person a sindhi gentleman he said swami ji last time you told in the lecture and we should have some hobby and we should learn something friends in each one of us there is a child let that child not die you know how the child dies uh, what is there to learn now what will i do learning i don't know to learn then die see learn something very important So he says, "Swami, you are that talk was so powerful. I decided to learn." I said, "Very good. Continue." Do you know what I am learning? I said, "I don't want to know." This is another principle. If you want to live happily, you don't want to know anything about anybody. Why collect garbage? These are the two terms I am using in India. These two terms are very much um, popular. In Hindi, it is called as sukha kachra, gila kachra, dry garbage and wet garbage. All possessions of the life are the dry garbage, and all relations of the life are the wet garbage. 
garbage must be thrown keep on accumulating get you want to know about you nothing to know i think everything say good so i said uh, i don't know but i don't want to know also but you learn very good keep yourself happy no but i want to tell now where can you run old people are very difficult to deal with <clears throat> therefore i never ask any old person how are you they will make you miserable but no <laughs> and then you start this morning when i got up swami ji my ankle got twisted and then it was such a terrible pain and their description is so live that the listener start getting the pain <laughs> <clears throat> see i said i don't want to know no no but i want to tell so get there <clears throat> he said i am learning sanskrit <clears throat> very good learn imagine a sindhi learning sanskrit so he said do you know why i am learning i said come on here i am not interested you learn now you don't learn who cares no no i want to tell you i said okay tell they say in the heavens they talk sanskrit <laughs> i said you are a sindhi up to the bone marrow so when i go to the heaven i should know sanskrit then only i can be happy over there i said very good and because you have come to this point so i will also add now we always must have plan b <laughs> in case i know you will not go but in case you go to hell then he said i know sindhi <laughs> no problem see friends at this moment when you are happy be attentive when you are happy can you be happy yesterday can you be happy tomorrow whenever you are happy you are in the present what did you get nothing only thing you are in the utter present mind cannot survive in the utter present mind dissolves like an ice cube you put it in the waters after some time slowly without making any noise the ice dissolves in the water exactly the same way lesser you talk to yourself to others you should talk you must have seen there are people have this wrong notion maunam means what they are putting a mask on their face right? maunam and they, what they do keep a paper and pencil <laughs> useless to others you talk what is required then what is mauna bhagavad gita says then mana prasada saumyatva mauna atma vinigraha mauna is a discipline of the mind not that of the speech and therefore observe mauna means what don't talk to yourself we have seen this experiment mind is unmanifest mind manifest in the form of words words are many and is many words together forms a thought and the thought creates a thought current and we are carried away by the thought current you all must have gone to ganges sometime somewhere we go and take bath in ganges such a nice fresh air but when the ganges are in floods and if you jump the waters don't carry you it is the flow of the water that carries exactly the same way thoughts are not a problem the flow of thought is a problem 
working on the mind therefore means we have to learn how to arrest the thought formation and the formation of the thought flow this we have to arrest now be attentive these are very subtle points one hour is over do you want to suffer for another 5 10 minutes everybody yes or no yes okay <coughs> permission boss okay <coughs> see when the theme of the thought is finite it breeds the next thought i am again repeating when the theme of the thought is finite it breeds the next thought for example wherever i go in the morning i get up little early and i don't want to disturb the host and the hostile no i am here he is the host his wife is hostile his children are hostilities <laughs> and i am a hostage <laughs> this is my story everywhere i go so in the morning i had to have a cup of tea so then i come get up hey i want a cup of tea thought is about the finite object cup of tea next thought where will i get it i think i'll try in the kitchen i come in the kitchen then where they have kept what how to start this gas i don't know something should not happen you should not make a lot of noise everybody will be disturbed how the thought started i want a cup of tea whenever the theme is something finite you will create a flow of thoughts if the theme is infinite flow of thought is arrested what is infinite <coughs> infinite is silence words are finite om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya three times why because in between there was silence now make silence as the object of knowledge listen to silence and don't talk to yourself what is exactly happening is listen to silence means we are not disturbed by any sound and when we don't talk to ourselves then mind is not falling to the next stage of words thus we go from the manifest mind to the unmanifest experience that is our essential nature this is working on mind like when we want to receive guests like you all came here they were busy in making the house clean neat because guests are coming if bhagwan has to come in our heart in our mind should we not make our mind pure so that we can receive him but our mind is, our mind is like a garbage heap kama krodha lobha moha madha matsar frustration anger depression jealousy how can you receive the divine therefore my friends we have to take this simple technique with you work it every time 2 minutes in a day 10 times it will become 20 minutes don't do more than 2 minutes 
and the technique just now I told you, don't talk to yourself and listen to silence. Two minutes. This is working directly on the mind. And thereafter, when we are living day-to-day -day life, wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. So you will be constantly, without interruption, working on your mind. We are working on the body, but we have to also work on the mind. Give it a try and be happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om